Good morning, everyone. I hope that uh, everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Yes, I know my New England Patriots, they lost last night. But anyways, happy Thanksgiving uh, to everybody. I hope everyone had plenty of time to spend with friends and family. Today, I wanted to take a little uh, U-turn, a little, little uh, side road on talking about the Simulator Golf Tour or the SGT. SGT. And we want to talk about registering for the tour and registering for an event. So as you can see, we're presented with the uh, Simulator Golf Tour. And a quick little look, you'll see an update of rounds that have been recently played here. You'll also be able to see what tours are available, the Web Tour, the PGA Tour, the Pro Tour, and the Auto Putt Tour. Here are the active events that are going on with each of the tours. Auto Putt, uh, Par 3, Clan Battles, Scrambles. Here's the World Golfing Rankings. Previous winners of all the tours. And of course, some information at the bottom. So one of the first pages I want to direct you to from the home page is going to be Getting Started. Getting Started is going to show you exactly how to begin creating how to join right join the community on discord pay your membership blah blah follow these directions carefully pick a screen name or an sgt alias that you want to use that's what you're going to be known as that's what name is going to be seen on the leaderboard and that's the name we should be using when we join Discord in this section as well. So all the names are the same. The reason that is, an, is important because this is going to basically be your online name. Now, once you have that all set up, I'm going to go ahead and log in for myself, which is my name right here. Once logged in, you're going to see what's called my user ID. Now that is a very important number in user ID. That user ID identifies you on tour. This shows me my handicaps for each one of my handicaps. The web tour, PGA events that I have played, everything about me as a player. Okay, I'm not a member of a club. My world ranking points, rounds used in the calculation, all the rounds I have ever played on GS Pro, along with my virtual trophy. And yes, last year I did win the FedEx Cup on the web tour for the net. For the net. And these are all my little tour trophies since I started playing on GS Pro. Now, the user ID that you have got in the SGT website, you will type in your name exactly as it appears in your SGT account, and you will type in your user ID exactly as it appears under your account in SGT. This is what will result in your tournament page being populated. It must be exactly the same name. It must be exactly the same user ID that you find on the SGT website. Once you have signed up on the SGT and you've looked at your page and gotten your name and user ID and have placed that into GS Pro, it's now time to register for a tour. Now, registering for a tour is different than registering for an event in the tour. By registering for the tour, you're saying, I want to play on the web tour. Or I want to play on the PGA tour, the pro tour. Then once you're a member of that tour, you need to register for the events. So let's talk about these different tours. Under tours, you can see that we have the web tour, PGA, Pro, Auto Putt, Par 3, Two Man Scrambles, there's some exhibitions, Dogfight, which is for real cash money, Sim Golf Events, which is on another Discord um, server. So the main three tours 
is Web, PGA, and Pro. And let's get into those really quickly and look at those particular tours. These tours are explained that the web tour is for your shorter hitters, your older hitters, they're going to play around 6,000 yards. Please, if you are ball, uh, an individual that drives the ball more than 250, <clears throat> you should move up to the PGA Tour. Again, this is for your shorter hitters playing in more forward tees, for your older players who just can't bomb the ball 260, 270, 280. PGA is for your younger guys that are bombing the ball 260 plus you're comfortable with your golf game pro is where the real meat and potatoes happens with the best players of the best these guys are smashing the ball they are actually playing real golf web and pga both have a q school to qualify in establishing a handicap you play those four rounds and you will receive your handicap on that particular tour. Each tour has its own handicap. Pro, when you begin day one, you will be at a scratch golfer and your handicap will not get established until you've played enough rounds to establish a handicap. All tours have two winners every week. The gross, which is your actual raw score unadjusted, and the net, which is your gross score modified by your handicap adjusted by your handicap so that way the winner will actually be competitive when you're playing against people that of a better handicap that will be on all the tours gross and net winners and those will be announced weekly so let's actually get into getting into the tour so let's say you want to play the web tour you are um, an older individual like myself pushing into 60. You are someone who does not hit the ball 250 yards plus. So we want to go and we want to register for the tour. Please register for the tour. Web, register for the tour. Once you click that button, it'll tell you welcome to the tour. I have already registered. So now I'm able to register for an event. So we go to the web tour again, we go to the home button. Now I am a member of the web tour. Here, this registration button is to register for the event, to register for, to play this week's event, which will end on Monday, the 28th of November. Clicking this will register for me the event, but I've already registered. If you had not registered, it would have said, hey, welcome to the event. Now it's time to tee it up on the whole first hole. Once you have registered for the, the tour and you have registered for the event, now it's time to go and look at the leaderboard. How do we do that? So instead of clicking on register, we can come over here to click on the turkey shoot, the event that is actually happening. And here we'll see everything we need to know about the event. We'll see this. The, the scorecard, we will see polls, information about the, the, the event. You'll see how each round, round one is set up to be at a 10, round two set up to be at an 11, Thursday pins on round one, Saturday pins on round two. But we have normal green fairways. We have, uh, where are the greens? Greens are normal, five foot gimmies. We're playing at different pins maybe what pin are we saying uh pin thursday what about the t oh there we are green tees we can look at the green tees over here and see that we're playing at 5800 we're playing at 5800 and down to the leaderboard the leaderboard shows you this is the gross leaderboard gross leaderboard and it will show you that this individual that's winning is a negative one handicap this is their gross score, right? Unbelievable, a negative 10 on their second round as a negative one handicap. Shame! No, I'm just playing. And you can come down, and I think if you go all the way down to the bottom is where you'll, you'll see, see me. So if you're looking for your name, hit Control F and just type in your name. There I am. I am a plus eight. 
I'm a five handicap. Now, if I want to look at my round, I can simply click the little scorecard icon and it'll show me details of my round. Now we can get into some statistics of the round that I shot here. You can see my gross score shot on every hole. And you can click into put, uh, sorry, shot data. The shot data will show you shot for shot what I did on each and every hole. So I had uh, I hit it 182 yards into the rough. I really fucked it up. And I had 141 left. It came up short. 16 left. Got it on the green. Five foot to the hole. And I absolutely made an up and down. But this will show you every single one of your shots. Okay? And it'll even show you, hey, I made it inside. Tapped in for a gimme. This was actually a good hole right here. I had 110 yards to the green and I put it in the gimme circle with a wedge for a birdie. All right. So that's some more information about your particular round. And then you can get that information from the leaderboard. This will also give you a summary of your round, right? Your longest drive, your average drive, how many fairways, etc and how many feet of putts that you made. So I didn't do very well, especially in the greens and regulation department, right? Um, sand saves, I had one attempt, I actually was successful. 22 putts, not my best, right? I had some three putts here, I think. Nope, I didn't, interesting. I guess it was actually, that was actually a fantastic putting. If we go back to the event page and we continue to scroll down past um, here, we can look at the event statistics. This is everybody that has pay, played this event. And this is going to show you your scoring averages. This will show you your average driving distance, 283. Come on. What are you on the web tour for? That is terrible. Um... Driving accuracy, this would be how many fairways they, they created, right? Greens, and saves, scrambling, putts, all the stats about this event that you want to know about. Fantastic um, amount of information. Last thing I want to talk about is you can actually see other players. You can use the all players lookup feature just like you can do on the GIN handicap system if you know their name. You can look up, uh, oh, that's cool, Veteran Golf Association. If you're a veteran, I suggest that you jump on and um, play the Veteran Golf Association. I am also a member there and play real golf there. But anyways, if you know somebody and you want to see their statistics and see how they play and see what they have been doing on SGT, let's take a look at the owner of SGT and the operator of SGT. And let's see where Mr. Cook is as a golfer. Why not? He doesn't look very old. Um, he looks like he could uh, grow a little. So anyways, and you can look everything up that you need to know about this individual person. You can see their pro handicap, PGA handicap. You can look at their rounds played. You can look at their trophy case, right? Um, all the different things you notice that he does not have a FedEx cup. So I am, I am greater than the owner. I am the FedEx cup champion. He is not just joking cook. All right. But you can see all the information you want and you want to dig in. You can dig in into the data as much as you want. So I hope that has helped you guys considerably in understanding SGT and how to register for an event. I mean, how to register for a tour and how to register for an event. Appreciate you guys watching. If you would please be so kind as to click the link and subscribe. I could use the subscribers. Hit the like button. Every little bit helps. And I will be back once again at another time with some more tips and tricks. Thanks. Thanks for watching.